uh, a message for our, our, our friends, our non-Indian friends, that you know, there's one creator, there's one world, so essentially we have the same address, you know, <laughs> but the creator is like a gardener, magnificent gardener. He uh, created mankind and he spread the seeds of mankind throughout the world, uh, different colors, different language, different culture, different history, different everything, but all coming from the same creator. That, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful to, to, to think about in that way. And it's just, as Lakota, we, we have a, a many teachings, as I said earlier, but we, we, when we say wo Lakota, we say we strive, you know, which means peace, or to be peaceful. And that's what we, we want to do. A lot of times that gets mis misunderstood uh, in this aggressive world, and in, in this capitalistic world, as not knowing or not caring. Uh, when it's total, totally the opposite. You know, it's just like when somebody's uh, sharing something with us, um, uh, we use the two best things that we got, is our ears. <laughs> When somebody's showing us something, we use the two best things that we got, and it's our eyes. And when it's our time, we only have one thing to use, that's our mouth. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's like what we see, what we hear, what we feel is what we become. And that's Lakota thinking. You know, and we want to make certain that we do our best to carry forward all Lakota. And when we speak, to do our best to, to try to uh, articulate it in a way so our friends uh, from other cultures will know that it's pro-Lakota. It's not anti-American. It's not anti-white, but it's pro-Lakota. And, and that uh, is something that I try my best to do, uh, is to be that pro-Lakota, to be that person that so that way the message doesn't get lost. I don't want the message to get lost because then I will have failed my ancestors. Then I will have failed my children and grandchildren um, uh, if, if the message get lost. Because I, over the years, uh, I know a lot of us have been given beautiful messages, be in, inspired by a lot of wonderful people uh, and the inspirations with our, with our language. So I, I don't want to have the message get lost uh, because when we when we do our best to articulate our, our Lakota being uh, in our language uh, as I said uh, sometimes we fall down it seems like stand up we fall down we're stumbling around to utilize our language because uh, we've been uh, accustomed or, or use our English most of the time so it's an honor to, to be a part of this and to express myself a little bit with our Lakota ways. Thank you.